Hello, um, this is the day after Christmas and I have this idea of doing videos each week to introduce each week's service um, and I'm trying that out. And so if you have ideas about what I might include in a video from week to week, please let me know. But I want to talk a little bit um, about what's coming up this Sunday. This Sunday we're going to be having one service at 1030 at the church. Um, and the service is going to have um, a preacher making her preaching debut, Carter Smith, who grew up in our church and is now a student at Harvard Divinity School preparing for the Unitarian Universalist Ministry. So I hope you'll come out uh, this Sunday at 1030. Carter's going to be preaching about the art of renewal, how we can take this time with a year ending and a year beginning and make that a meaningful time um, and a time where we set ourselves well going into this new year. I asked uh, Carter um, a couple days ago what uh, she might want me to talk about um, in this video, and um, we had this, this idea that um, since she is a student preparing for the ministry, that I might let you know in just a, a little bit, give you the short version of what preparing for the ministry means in Unitarian Universalism. So uh, to become a Unitarian Universalist minister, um, the first thing is you have to go and do a master of, get a Master of Divinity degree. That's a three-year master program. Um, but that's not the only requirement. There are a, a number of other requirements as well. Um, you have to have a psychological assessment uh, that's done at a career center. It's usually a, a multi-day uh, assessment where they put you through a battery of tests, and so you need to do that. You also need to do a, um, an internship, usually in a church, um, and that is a nine to 12 month full-time internship um, in, a, in a church practicing ministry. Um, you can do it part-time with just the equivalent number of hours. Uh, and then you also have to do a three-month full-time program called clinical pastoral education. Um, and that is usually in a hospital um, and it is an experience of chaplaincy as well as um, some coursework, some intensive coursework around um, you know, pastoral care and so you do the clinical pastoral education. So after you've got your Master of Divinity degree, your career assessment, your internship, your clinical pastoral education, then what you do is you go before the credentialing body, um, the Ministerial Fellowship Committee of the Unitarian Universalist Association. Uh, you go, you prepare a bunch of stuff for them, and you go, uh, you preach them a 10-minute sermon, and then uh, they spend about an hour grilling you with questions, and then based on that interview, that hour with them, they decide um, whether or not you are passed, whether or not you are granted fellowship as a Unitarian Universalist minister. One of the things I'm so proud of in our church is that we currently have uh, two students, Carter Smith, as well as Sarah Bush, who uh, Sarah's been in our pulpit a number of times, uh, both Carter and Sarah are preparing for the Unitarian Universalist ministry, and it's uh, very exciting uh, that our, our church, our congregation, has inspired them, motivated them um, for them to go into this. So if you're uh, in town this Sunday, around this Sunday, I hope you'll come to church at 1030 to hear Carter Smith preach on the art of renewal. Thanks.